Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about data normalization and why it is important. You have seen that we bought the data through the, with the help of data stream and it created a DLO and then that DLO was mapped to multiple DMOs. This process of mapping is what is called as normalization. And what is the purpose of the normalization? We will see it in a minute. So data normalization is a crucial concept in database design and it is particularly relevant in data cloud when mapping data from various sources to the standardized data model. So what we are doing here is we are bringing data from multiple sources. Right now we brought the data from Salesforce org. Next we are going to pull the data from Amazon S3. So now we will have some contacts coming in from Amazon S3. Some contacts are coming in from the Salesforce org and we are going to put them in one DLO, which is the contact, and then we are going to map it to these DMOs. In simple terms, data normalization is a process of organizing the data in a database to reduce the redundancy and improve the data integrity. So in order to reduce the duplication and also to manage the data integrity, we do the normalization of the data. Now, what is this data normalization? Let's say you have data in this way. Okay, so in the contact object, we have different different columns. One is to one says customer ID, you have a customer name, email, phone number one, phone number two, right? That's how the data is there in our main contact object, the one that is present in the Salesforce, right? And the same data is also been put it under the DLO. DLO holds the raw data. Okay, so right now let's you can see here, let's assume this first entry, John Doe that is available in one system. Similarly, the same, the same exact person, John Doe, is also coming from another system. So now we have email addresses for this John is john at email.com and he has two phone numbers. Okay, so he has two phone numbers. And uh, similarly, you have another customer called Jane Smith. This is his email and he has only one phone number listed. So this is your raw data. This is not in a normalized form. So what it is like to convert into a normalized, basically we are going to create multiple tables, one table to hold just the phone number and the contact ID or the customer ID, other table to just hold the email and the customer ID. That becomes more normalized. So what happens tomorrow, if John Doe has another email, you don't have to worry about that because you have a separate table which is going to hold just the email addresses. Okay, so that is called as data normalization. So what we did was we created one table. So we broken down the main table into multiple small tables to capture all the different pieces of information and to make it more normalized. So we created a table number one, which only holds two things, the customer ID and the name of the customer. Okay. So we only have two customers, number one with the customer ID of one and the other one with the customer ID of two. And then the number one customer ID has the name John Doe and Jane Smith. Okay, so there is no duplicates here. In this table, we had duplicates, right? We had two John Doe. So what we did was we f figured out, okay, there is, there is unique, we have to remove one of the John Doe. And what we did was we created a table which only stores the unique customer ID and the customer name corresponding to it. Then what we did was we created a table number two. This table, what it does is it basically holds only the email addresses and tie it back to with the customer ID. Okay, and email ID is the unique key of this table number two. So customer ID one has an email address of john at email.com or yahoo.com or whatever it is. And if let's say customer one had multiple email addresses, it would have been simple. Customer ID would be one, and then it could have been john at yahoo.com and john121 at gmail.com. You can store those email addresses in this table. Okay, so this is the table number two. So we are breaking down the main table into multiple chunks that is called as normalization. And we are kind of segregating the information. Okay, so email table is separate. Then we have a separate table to hold the addresses. We have a separate table to hold the customer information. So it is reducing the redundancy and it is also kind of ma makes the data normalized and it is improves the integrity of the data. 
then we have a third table which only captures the phone number and we have customer id here you can see here customer one has two phone numbers so uh, we are storing all that information and this is our table number three so whatever this is happening is basically data normalization and that is exactly that happened when we mapped the DLO to the DMOs. So DMOs is called as data model objects and there are already some built-in DMOs that Salesforce Data Cloud Org has. And what it does, what it mapped your raw data into this normalized data. So this is the denormalized data from the source. You have a customer ID. Let's say the customer ID has an airline membership number. It, he has a driver's license number. He might have a social security number. So they're different identification for a given customer, right? So this data is in the not in the normalized form. Let's say tomorrow a new ID got introduced and let's say that ID is social security ID. So there will be another column get added called social security and then the columns will keep on increasing right so that this data is in the denormalized form so it is important to convert it into a normalized form so what we do here is in the normalized form you have the customer id you have the identification number and identification name so these columns are going to be fixed now so identification name is going to tell okay this is the airline membership number this is the driver license number and if tomorrow you have a social security number a new row would be introduced which will say social security number and you will have the number which is the identification number would be there so this is called as normalized data and that is very very important to do for data integrity and also to reduce duplicates and redundancy in your data. And this is what we are doing by mapping the DLOs to the DMOs. So that's exactly what we did was we have a separate table which holds the phone number. We have a separate table which holds the email addresses. We have a separate table which holds the physical addresses. We have a separate table which holds account contact relationship. We have a table which holds the contact information right so we have multiple dmos from the same dlo from one dlo we mapped into multiple dmos that is called as data normalization so this is what is the example of data normalization the data that is coming from salesforce org is in a denormalized form right you have you have a contact phone you, you might have a business phone you might have uh, different types of phone numbers can be there he, he might have different email addresses he also has the possibility of having different physical addresses so rather than just keep on adding more columns and identifying it one row with one row what we did was we broke on that drawn down that row into smaller chunks or smaller tables to keep track of the information so that is called as normalizing the data and that is a very important concept in data cloud so converting the data into from the dlo to the dmo is called as normalizing the data now let's see if the data is available so we go to the data explorer and uh, let's see if you go to the data stream um, it is still says pending here uh, the last run status is pending you can see these are the different fields that you brought from the uh, salesforce org these are all the different fields you have approximately 47 this one tells you when the data was last refreshed and uh, this is some additional information um, and you can see here it is a batch ingestion so frequency is batch here um, and that is it so now we go to the data explorer it might take some more time let's see if the data is available this is the contacts home and uh, nothing so far okay so let it run uh, give it about an hour or two hopefully it should be there this is what is called as normalization of data so this is how the data transform is happening so from the data stream you created a dlo and then you can also transform a DLO to another DLO. So that can also happen. And when we have some complex use cases and we will see a use case where we are transforming the DLO to another DLO, and then it is going to be mapped to a DMO. So this is the step-by-step uh, -step conversion that happens. So from data stream, you're bringing the, through the data stream, you're bringing in the data that gets stored into the source DLO. You can, if the DLO is too complex, you can convert it into another target DLO and then the target DLO is mapped to the DMOs, the data model object.
Now let's talk deeper into what are these different objects, DLO, DMOs, what are these, right? So we haven't talked about that. All I said was raw data was DLO, then more normalized data is a DMO. So let's go and talk about more about them in the next tutorial. So I'll see you then. Thank you very much.